I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the best apps available to sideload onto your brand new Apple TV 4. These apps will change in time, but as, as it stands at the moment, there's not much content available for you to sideload onto your Apple TV 4, but we have a list of the best free at this moment. So I'll quickly give you a quick look at what they do and what they're called. And we've also got blogs on how to install all of these apps on our website. So if you click the link below, it will take you to our page where you can see all the latest apps available. And if any more come out, there'll be blogs there showing you how to install them and what they do. So let's take a quick look at the apps we've got installed at the moment. So we've got Safari Internet Browser, we've got Kodi, and we've got Provenance. So let's take a look at Safari first. Um, it gives you a quick instructions on how to use it. We can go to dismiss. As you can see, you've got a Google web browser. Um, it's not as good as a normal internet browser, but it's better than having no internet browser at all. You can type in the name of a URL if you want and just go from there. for open just to show you what it looks like and you can see you've got the open university right you can scroll down by disabling the cursor and using the up and down on the remote so you have to click it twice to enable it again to be able to click something on screen so this is how the internet browser works for the Apple TV 4 Our next one would be one of our favorites is Kodi. You can see it's a fresh install. So you will need to add your own add-ons. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the Wookiee from Source. This will put a few different add-ons and a skin on my device for me. So I won't need to. So we'll just add that quickly. So I've added this wizard. There's plenty of wizards out there, but I do find this one the best out there. So I'll add that. I'll just give it a name. So anything will do. I'll just call it C for now and then click on OK. So now, now we've added the source. I'll just show you. I'll just add the add-on from the source. So install from zip. And there's a file we created C. So you should get a little pop-up notification. There we go. Just to confirm that we've installed it and giving you some information on Best for Cody, we click on close. And we'll go back to video add-ons. Uh, we'll just try one of these. So it shouldn't take long to download as you can see it's only going to take about a minute i'll speed it up though so you don't have to wait now that's complete we just need to click on the ok so click on the ok button what we need to do now is disconnect the power lead from the back of the apple tv it's the only way to make the skin take if you don't do it it's not going to work so we'll just go out of here and then from this screen, we'll disconnect the power lead and then just plug it straight back into the Apple TV. Do not click on this power switch down here, otherwise you're just going to waste your time. It's not going to load the skin when we're finished. So let's, re let's restart it. So now the Apple TV is restarted, if we open Kodi. You can see 
you've got the skin and it's fully took. So you've got a full customised Cody in a matter of minutes. There are plenty of wizards out there, but I do find that this is one of the fastest and best out there and it keeps you up to date. So thank you for watching. We'll just move on to the next app. Our next app would be Profit on Provenance. And we go to Import ROMs. You can see you've got a URL there. My one is 192.168.1.70. That's the network what I'm connected to. So make sure you're connected to this, the same internet as your Apple TV. Open up your laptop, Mac, PC, or wherever your ROMs are, you've got saved. And all you need to do is type that URL into your web browser and it will open up a different screen where you can upload your ROMs directly to the Apple TV. I have already uploaded a couple of ROMs here, you can see. I'll quickly give you a demonstration. I'll play Sonic the Hedgehog. This is just a quick demo, so we get a drift. So let's get this running. So I must point out, I am using the Apple TV 4 remote control in order to control this. And I think we've got a jump button here. So it's quite simple, quite good. Oh, so you get the hang of it. So, Well, I suppose you don't want to sit here and watch me play Sonic the Hedgehog all day. So, let me just come out. Use Provenance on Apple TV. This is another one. It's a good app to, to install. You can get this from the App Store. So this is available via the Apple App Store. Click on there. It's TV Power. It just allows you to watch live TV channels straight away through your device without any subscription which is cool you only get the basic ones one two three four five and a few more you can subscribe and you'll pay extra ones to collect these channels but it's just an extra app to have if you're into live tv it's quite good so this is what the apple tv 4 looks like and these are the best apps at this time to install like I said, we'll keep our page updated with all the latest apps. So stay tuned and we'll be the first to announce any new apps available.